Polar vortex or not, cooler air to descend on U.S. what some people are calling the polar vortex. Last winter's favorite whipping boy will make a rare summer cameo in the central U.S. Next week in what's typically one of the hottest weeks of the year, temperatures will be 10 to 30 degrees below average, mainly around the upper Midwest and Great Lakes, but since it's July, the weather should actually be quite delightful. As highs are forecast in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s, the weather will be cool in. Cloudy Tuesday for the MLB All-Star Game at Target Field in Minneapolis. With temperatures likely in the 60s at game time, dropping into the 50s during the game. According to the National Weather Service, the East will also get in on the cooler than average conditions. But the change won't be as dramatic as in the north-central U.S. last January. The term polar vortex became a media darling thanks to bitterly cold air that spread south into the nation from the Arctic, setting dozens of cold temperature records in the central and eastern U.S., of course. The polar vortex isn't suddenly appearing out of nowhere, it usually hovers far above the north. Pole or new, it's been around a few hundred million years. There's also some debate in the weather community if this a true polar vortex. The Weather Service forecast offices in Chicago and State College, PA, both specifically called it a polar vortex Thursday. And a Q weather meteorologist Alex Susnowski calls it a piece of the polar vortex, but others say no. Stephen DiMartino, a meteorologist with NYNJ PA Weather, calls it a gross example of bad meteorology, and that the pattern change has nothing to do with the polar vortex. Unseasonably cold weather is forecast next week across the Midwest in northeast, parts of which are expected to see temperatures as low as the 40s and 50s, and that's rare for July, naturally. This has media commentators speculating that the much-vaunted polar vortex, which was blamed for this winter's brutally cold and snowy weather across much of the eastern U.S., has returned, but while it's a catchy term that gets a lot of attention, the polar vortex isn't really to blame for the unusually cool weather that much of the nation is expected to see next week. Here's why. The polar vortex is a feature in the upper atmosphere over the Earth's poles. In fact, there are two polar vortices, one over the North Pole and one over the South Pole as well. Both are rooted very high up in the layer of the atmosphere known as the stratosphere, which begins roughly about 25,000 feet to 45,000 feet above the Earth's surface. But their circulations extend down into the troposphere which is the layer of the atmosphere where we experience our weather. The portion of the circulation in the troposphere exhibits a much more wavy flow. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.